ERC, quality service since 1972. Repairing TVs, console stereos, electronic musical instruments, pinball machines, arcade games, and more. Call 836-0454. This is the ABC 3340 Weather Extreme video. This is for Wednesday, the 27th of August. And now that Faye is out, all of the attention is on Gustav. A major hurricane in the Gulf sure looks that way. Let's go right to some Skycam shots uh, early this morning at the somewhat insane hour of 5 o'clock. Low clouds hanging over Birmingham. You cannot see the top of the big buildings downtown. And uh, we'll start the day with low clouds and fog. We think the sky becomes partly sunny by midday today, Mount Sheeha, as you expect, they're in the clouds. You can barely see across the street to the lodge. That's the view coming from the top of the restaurant there. And for those of you new to this and not from here, that's Alabama's highest mountain. The elevation there is 2,407 feet up at the peak of that big ridge. And uh, northeast of Birmingham, there's the Trustful Sky Cam. Down below, that's uh, Chalkville Mountain Road. Again, thanks to uh, Dr. Jody Gray and his group for allowing us to put that camera there. That's one of our newest cameras on the uh, network. Well, there's the water vapor satellite image this morning, and Faye is lifting out to the northeast, and we'll be in good shape for the next few days and giving us the opportunity to focus on the tropics. And again, we've got Gustav that really hasn't moved since last night. It's just been uh, sitting there uh, on the uh, southwest coast of Haiti, and we've got the uh, 95L, the other wave uh, there in the right-hand part of the screen. Uh, we'll focus, of course, on Gustav. Uh, there's a closer look, and uh, it is, this morning, a tropical storm, not a hurricane, uh, due to the interac interaction with land. And uh, as we often mention, there are some big mountains on that island there that can certainly disrupt the circulation. But in this case, it is uh, moving away, and we think it becomes a hurricane again. Here's a look at the modeling, and if you live in New Orleans, that's got to be problematic. The GFDL is the fastest model. It wants to bring it up to New Orleans on uh, on Labor Day. The other models are a bit slower, uh, suggesting landfall could be Tuesday in that same general area. I mean, it's like there's a magnet over the Big Easy. And understand, this could change. This is modeling, but the consistency is good. Uh, it will be uh, coming across Cuba, and of course, again, there could be some interaction with that island, but most of the models bring it over that little skinny western tip where uh, any weakening would be very short-lived. Here's the official track from the National Hurricane Center, and uh, this is the 5 o'clock advisory this morning or 4 o'clock central time. The guys in Miami have it pretty much along the uh, modeling, and they've got it at a position south of New Orleans uh, late Sunday night or at 2 a.m. Monday. And really, this would suggest landfall, perhaps Labor Day, around New Orleans. How about the Hurricane WRF model? The wharf, and let's zoom into that, and they're ramping this thing up to an 896 millibar storm. That would uh, be a 4 or a 5, and that could be catastrophic if this is correct. And by golly, the GFDL is very similar. Uh, they ramp it up to 926 millibars, not quite as strong as the wharf, but still, that would be a major hurricane, uh, perhaps uh, the four or five range. And again, that's coming right up on the mouth of the Mississippi. And uh, again, uh, this could change. That's the main screaming message. In fact, it probably will change to some degree, but for the moment, it does not look good for the New Orleans area and the Mississippi Gulf Coast. And I'll show you the GFS and the European here in a moment. Let's look at 95, our other wave out there, uh, still not having its act together. Here's the modeling on that, and uh, again, the, the models are beginning to suggest this might be a problem for the east coast of the United States later. This could become Tropical Storm Hannah. And again, we'll take them one at a time. We'll certainly focus on Gustav. Now, here's the GFS. This is the uh, model at 1 o'clock today at 500 millibars. Nice trough digging down into the northern states. Uh, you'll see as we go along here, the signs of fall are definitely going to be there. Down below, Faye, what's left of Faye, is lifting northeast. Uh, uh, there could be a few isolated showers later today, but uh, the big rains are over. And uh, J.B. Elliott will post some of the storm totals in the blog this morning, but uh, we, we've got some spots that have gone over 10 inches with that thing here in 
our state of Alabama. What a beneficial rain. Tomorrow we should be dry. Now the GFS, you can see Gustav down there in the lower right, and I'll just tell you right now the GFS is an outlier with this. It's really having a hard time with it. Uh, Friday looks dry as well, so great weather for the high school football games. Opening week for high school football this week. Should be clear both uh, Thursday and Friday night. We'll be in the low 90s, by the way. You know, this is August here. Don't forget, it's supposed to be hot. Saturday, a little weak boundary uh, tries to slip in from the north, and, and accordingly, we'll bring in the chance of a shower in spots, but that would suggest a better chance up in the Tennessee Valley. And then Sunday, that front just fizzles. So you can see the, the, the beginning of the Labor Day weekend looks pretty quiet uh, with uh, generally dry conditions. Uh, the GFS just not really developing Gustav or Hannah. Uh, unlike all the other models, it is a clear outlier. Uh, Monday of next week, I wanted to show the upper levels as we try and look at for the steering currents. Big trough diving down a cold trough into the northern Rockies. And again, as that traverses uh, on to the east, that should ultimately bend Gustav to the north. And down below that, the GFS does have a broad low in the uh, eastern Gulf. Uh, we stay relatively dry for Labor Day. If that's right, Tampa Bay would be soaked big time. Tuesday, the GFS stalls the thing out. It stalls Gustav in the southeastern Gulf. I'd say it's unlikely, but I guess you can't totally rule that out. If this is right, we're dry. Now, let's look at the European on Tuesday. Now, how's this for another outlier? Th that model takes it over toward the central Texas coast, really toward Corpus Christi. But again, you saw the excellent agreement on the better tropical models, and they bring it right toward New Orleans. And also note the European does develop HANA over there in the right-hand part of the screen. We'll kind of go back to the GFS and understand this is an outlier. Most of the dynamic of the, the tropical models suggest that uh, Gustav will be inland with big wind and rain here on Wednesday, but this shows the thing meandering in the southern Gulf. Uh, we'll jump out to uh, August, September 5th. It's got it uh, moving north, and then on the 8th, it just kind of moves up in here, and then it develops another one down there over Cuba. But this is all model madness. And then on the 10th, wanted to show you that. Look at the troughing coming down. Uh, that looks refreshing, doesn't it? And it develops this big hurricane on the middle Atlantic coast region. And remember, this is all pure speculation. This is voodoo here. And then on the 11th, the end of the forecast period, uh, cool air is the story. Boy, I like the sound of that. But again, more than likely, that will change on the uh, next model run. That's it for the Weather Extreme video this morning. We'll have notes on the blog. The uh, next video here by 3.30 today. By the way, the blog is alabamawx.com, since many of you watch this via YouTube or iTunes. And we will have running updates on Gustav in coming days. That will be uh, a place for frequent updates from a really good staff of uh, weather people. And uh, we'll be on television this evening if you're local in Birmingham. That's ABC 3340 News at 5, 6, and 10. Again, thanks for watching. Have a wonderful day and God bless.